I'm, yeah, I'm very surprised. And like what I said yesterday, I was that I felt sorry for him. Imagine what he must have felt like when he heard the booze. He mm. must have been confused. Like when I maybe asking his teammates, was that me? Was that was that me? The booze? Like why? Uh. Do you know like his form's been that good for England? If you look at the stats, I think you get player of the tournament. Um, England's best goal scoring centre half. Like they're treating him like he's cost us tournaments yeah. with like three own goals in the game or something. Honestly, like I don't think he's deserved from Harry Maguire. And like Stuart Pearce said yesterday, he hopes that he's strong enough to come through it, and his performances hopefully get better for Manchester well, his United. Man, his managers backed him. The players have got around yeah. him, haven't they, Ali? I think it, I, they look as though they've got a good setup in terms of, you know, if you got a good international squad, it's like a, you know, it's like a club side really, and they've got that. I think I don't think it's <clears throat> any surprise. First couple of people I saw support him were. A Liverpool captain, you done me there with that one there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it is with that. I, I, always, I always do with you with that one, Gav. I've I, I done been caught my own game just to let the listeners know. You know he, what wave, the... he waved to somebody through the window behind me, and by the time I turned around, they were away. That's my favourite as well. I've just been done at my own game. Well, when you, you turn around as well, you miss the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you see, with England as well, I've seen um, Jack Greenish do an interview yesterday, and he said that like they all love it, they love training, love going away together. Yeah. All tight group, the new players that come in this um, camp, like Tyler Mitchell, all straight in. Everyone's friendly with them. When I used to go, it was you knew exactly where you had to sit in the canteen. Al, you know, like it was like canteen. Yeah, in the canteen, like there's a long table, and half of it was like, all right, then that's where the Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea boys sit. You knew where you you could sit. You could never sit in the middle seat. It was David Beckham's. The Villa players and the Middlesbroughs and, you know, the other ones had to sit on the left-hand side. You sort of knew, without your name being on your seat, where you had to sit. It's incredible. Could you, incredible. Could you have put that track suit on <laughs> meeting up with the England team? No, Fabio Capello, whatever. I think he would have sent me home. <clears throat> Gab, tell us, Big Al and I are getting a little bit of stick, right? Because we reckon that Gareth is doing a very, very good job with England, right? Yep. And Simon had a go yesterday at Gareth, didn't he? He said he was very average he said with better management they could have got to the World Cup final and should have won the Euros and there's a, to be fair there's a lot of England fans yeah. you know coming in and saying they're agreeing with Simon you know Brazil and McCoy don't know what they're talking about not for the first time where do you sit on it? I agree both <clears> of you I feel that they talk about it and I heard Simon Jordan about it. it was an easy run in the World Cup it was an easy run in the Euros some teams haven't qualified for this World Cup England qualify oh, comfortably. Oh, no, oh, no, we're not out yet. Oh, yeah. Scotland will. I've got, I've got faith in Scotland. But some teams don't. Italy didn't qualify. Portugal had to go through yeah. the playoffs. You know, some, some top teams that struggled to qualify. England qualified for tournament after tournament comfortably. Got to the semi final of the World Cup. Got to the final of the Euros. Yes, maybe too defensive against Italy. That's the only thing I'll say about Southgate. We should have attacked them when we went 1-0 up. Mm -hmm. But I think he's done an outstanding job. And you can say it's an easy run, but you still got to win these games, haven't you, Al? You know what I mean? In a tournament, I, I there's still tough games. I understand where he's coming from, Simon. That it was you, you look and you think, if we play our best, what a chance we've got here. Yeah. What an opportunity. And we understand that. But as you say... You know, it's football, anything can go wrong. But How do you yeah. know that if we had a harder run, how do you know that we wouldn't have beaten them teams? You... No, exactly, it's football, mm -hmm. you, do, you don't know. Exactly. So Harry features heavily this morning after his tough night at Wembley on Tuesday, from a three-lines defender, Gabby's mate, Danny Mills, <laughs> uh, told TalkSport last night that the treatment of Maguire was disgraceful. He agrees with you, Gab. Wow. Being booed before the game, when your name is announced, when you're supporting England and you're playing for England, I think those people that booed him are pathetic. I, I really do. Um, I think it's shameful. If you want to boo him afterwards because he's played badly or he hasn't put the effort in or you don't think whatever for whatever reason you boo the performance, that's fine. But to boo an England player representing your country that you've gone to watch before the game is pathetic. Well, we said earlier, Alan and I, it, it, does, you know, it does the player and the team no good whatsoever when you're getting booed yeah. or your teammates are well, looking and you're getting booed and they're hearing it it does, it does no, no it one any good it doesn't but we know what it's like in stadiums though lads like you're going to get these morons that are going to boo they probably had it pre-planned before the game mm. when Harry Maguire's name get called out let's boo for a laugh let's find it funny probably not even watched him this season that's, that's the sort of problem you have in stadiums like you said didn't you Ali um, yesterday that there was a game you played for Scotland where a player was booed 
like fan Gary McAllister I remember Gary, Gary McAllister. McAllister getting it from Scotland fans um, so I mean it's not new and it will, mm. it will continue to happen and as I say you know I'll fight for the right to voice their opinion absolutely but I just don't see what good it does the team or no. anybody if you're going to support the team which clearly the England fans would be doing I don't understand what you can, you can half see <clears throat> if for your club if you're having um, shockers Ali and you, you're not being dropped because you're playing really bad for your club but your country you know when you play so well yep. for your country like Harry Maguire has I just don't understand some it some people are saying should the manager take the captaincy off him at United um, why? exactly well they're saying maybe it'll relieve pressure you know you look at Joe Root the stick he's getting at the moment you know he'd be a better player without being captain but then I think if Harry had a problem he felt I think if he felt that this is getting too much for me, he'd go to the manager and say, look, you know, can I just concentrate on my game now? But he hasn't done that. Yeah. He's big and Alan. strong enough. You don't do Alan. it, you know? Man United, I've got a lot more problems than just Absolutely. Harry Maguire. No, no. Absolutely. You know? I mean, pe- 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 people ca- are probably hiding under the table thinking, oh. yeah, Harry, you get it. Like, And he, and, and players are allowed bad seasons. Like, <clears> I mean, Ali, he's not going to be like, not every player's going to have unbelievable seasons. This season's not been his best. I'm sure we want to get back to his best form and hopefully soon he does. Uh, Did you you ever encounter booze, Gab? Was it Sheffield Wednesday? Every few weeks. (laughs) (laughs) Sheffield Wednesday? (laughs) No, but there was times where um, I went through a a, a barren spell in front of goal, as as you can see by the stats, Um, and the the Villa fans would boo me. Not boo me. Yeah, winger. Yeah, yeah. I was more getting the crosses in, (laughs) back stick. But there was times where I was getting groans off the Villa fans because they wanted me to be changed. And I remember the game I got brought off on the Martin O'Neill and the fans were sort of, you know, the sarcastic cheers of like finally being yeah, brought off. And you're in a low place when you come off. And oh, even yeah. Martin O'Neill had a go at the Villa fans after mm-hmm. the games and the media saying that he's only 22 years well, old. Ali, you'd one end career. had a go at you I, I, had the, I had the entire end, the Copeland Road end at really? Highbrooks. The entire end, tell me where they go. Look, look what he done for Rangers oh, goals. No. Yeah, so uh, early on in the career. So uh, listen, as I say, this isn't this isn't you and fans will always voice their opinion, but I just I, I, I'm with you, Gabby. It does I've no got, one any good. I've got a great degree of sympathy with Harry Maguire, and I still stand by what I think, and and that is I think England are a better team with Harry Maguire in, in central defence. Yep.